So today's tutorial is going to be a beautiful palm tree sunset using watercolour and ink. You will need some watercolour paper, a jar of water, a couple of paintbrushes, a thicker one and a thinner one for detail, some watercolours, some Indian ink, a palette, a paper towel and some washi tape or masking tape. I'm using gummed paper but if you've just got a separate piece of paper then you need to tape it down to the table to stop the paper from crinkling. So you only need a tiny little bit of watercolour paint, I'll be using these later so I've squeezed out a little bit more so you can see it on the camera. But first of all I'm just going to lightly sketch out where I want the palm tree to go, it doesn't matter too much about details at this point, they're just sort of the basic area of where you want the leaves and the shape to go. Next I'm going to take my brush and wet it with some water and I'm just going to start by covering the paper with water. So today we're going to be using a technique called a wet on wet technique and basically what that means is having a wet surface already and then adding paint straight to it. So I'm just covering enough of the paper so that it won't dry. Then I'm going to mix together a little bit of all my colours. And as you can see with the wet on wet technique, the paint just really pulls into the paper and just spreads a lot more easily, but it can really create some nice effects once it's dry. You can be super creative at this point and just add whatever colours you like into the sunset. You don't have to copy these exact colours or style. Just make sure you wash your brush out fully. And now I'm going to create more of a ready orangey colour. So I can sort of mix that into the blue. You can also use a wet brush to blend that colour down and really drag it down so it's a nice gradient. And then taking some of the warm orangey colour, I'm just going to sort of start blending that in. And I'm going to wet the rest of the paper. Depending on where you live and how hot it is, you might have to do this in several stages because the paper might dry. Here it's not too hot so I can get away with doing it in two stages. Now using blue again, I'm just going to start working into the sunset just to create some nice contrasts with the orangey yellow and the blue. And I quite like the corners and edges to be quite dark because I feel like it leads your eye into the painting. If you feel like your colours have faded a little bit you can go in a second time and just 
strengthen them up a little bit. That's the beauty of watercolour that while the paint's so wet you can be so organic with it because the paint just loves to move around on the surface of the paper. So now I'm just going to completely let that dry and then we can move on to the second stage. So now I've got the thinner brush to allow me to add some details and I've got some Indian ink and I'm just going to make a little pull into the lid so I can go back to that again and again. And I'm just going to start with the outlines and bringing it down to the tree trunk. With trees, I like to get the skeleton of the tree down first and then you can add to leaves and uh, grow it to whatever size you like. I just find that it helps it look more natural when you start at the tree trunk. You can actually use water to drag the ink down as well, so say you don't want the whole section to be just pure black, you can use the water to sort of drag that down and you can see that leaves a really nice gradient. Next I'm going to go down with the skeleton of the branches to map out where I want them and how big it's going to be and really just getting an idea of what I want it to look like when it's finished. And if you feel like your brush is getting a little bit dry and it's struggling to go over the texture of the paper, then just feel free to dampen your brush again and go back in with the ink. Also a little tip, I find it gives you a lot better control when you go from the centre outwards. Okay, so I think I'm happy with the basic shape of that. Now I'm going to go in and start adding the individual leaves. To do that, I'm just going to use a dragging motion to come down from the line that we've already got to show us where the branch is going to be. So just using a downward motion, I'm just going to pull the ink from it. You can be as slow and as careful as you want to be, or like me, you can go a little bit more impressionistic and just sort of add them as you see them. For the sake of this tutorial, for it not to go on forever, I'm going to try and go as fast as I can, but if you want to just pause the video and take your time and pop some music on, that's absolutely fine.
And lastly, I feel like the center is probably a little bit small and bare, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of thickness around the middle to show the overlapping branches and possibly even a coconut. So when you finish, just make sure you wash your brush out really, really well. You can even go wash it in the sink as well. Because I'm using a gummed watercolour pad, I'm just going to slice it off using a palette knife, just making sure I don't rip any of the edges. And voila! So thank you so much for painting along with me today. Make sure you tag me in on your creations if you pop them on Instagram or Twitter. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye!